Good morning, my fabulous grade twos. I hope that you are all well and that you are, if you're at home, that you are snug as a bug in a rug. And if you're at school, then I'll be teaching you. Okay, so it is tongue twister time. And this, so we've got two tongue twisters today. The first one is friendly fleas and fireflies. Friendly fleas and fireflies. Friendly fleas, fleas and fireflies. Friendly fleas and fireflies. So fireflies, I'm sure that you've seen. And friendly fleas, we don't really want fleas, do we? Okay, now I've got a cute little poem. And this is a tongue twister poem. It's called Five Fat Peas. You know peas? Like peas that you eat? Okay, so it goes like this. Five fat peas. So then repeat after me. Five fat peas sitting in a pod. Five fat peas sitting in a pod. One said, let's go. So we're going to say it from the beginning. Five fat peas sitting in a pod. One said, let's go. And left with a nod. So from the beginning. Five fat peas sitting in a pod. One said, let's go. And left with a nod. And left with a nod. Another rolled away. Another rolled away. When the first one went, when the first one went, leaving only three, leaving only three, in their pea pod tent, in their pea pod tent. I'm off, cried the next, to see the world. She dropped the one next to her, erected with a pup. Now there's only me, said the last lone pea. I guess I'd better plant myself and grow more family. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to read it from the beginning. Five fat peas sitting in a pod. One said, let's go, and left with a nod. Another rolled away and went the fir and when the first one went, leaving only three. In their pot, in their pea pod tent, I'm off, cried the next, to see the world. She dropped. Boom. The one next to her erected with a pop, pop. Now there's only me, said the last lone pea. I guess I'd better plant myself and grow more family. Excellent, great twos. All right, so we're going to do our, that was our tongue twister. Now we are going to do our warm up and we are going to play Bazzy B. Okay, so let's go. Buzz, 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 buzz around the room. I want you to go everywhere in the room. That side, this side, that side. Okay, and buzz, 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 buzz. And buzzy beep. And the letter is N or uh, N for noodle or nightingale, which is a bird. Or a net, maybe a fishing net or uh, a pool net. Okay, and I'm going to count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And freeze. And I'm going to make you come alive with my magic fish tail. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so if I had to choose out of noodle, nightingale, or net, I would be a nightingale, which is a beautiful bird. We don't get nightingales. Oh! My horn is skew. We don't get nightingales in South Africa. All right. And let's buzz, everybody. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzzy bee, buzzy bee. And buzzy bee freeze. And the word is ja for jumper, which is a jersey. We don't really call them jumpers here, but they call them jumpers. I think it's in England. All right. Or jack in the box, which, you know, it's one of those things with the little box. And the jack in the box goes out. Okay. Uh, or we could be jewelry. Okay. So think what you're going to be. And I'm going to count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And freeze. And now you are going to come alive. So out of all of those things, I would probably be a jack in the box. So I'd pretend I'm in a box and then come boing, popping out. And they always usually go boing, 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 boing out. All right, the next letter, Buzzy B, is let's go, Buzz. Buzz, 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 and buzzy bee freeze. Okay, now the letter is 
um, S for snake or slime or swimming or sprint or swinging. Okay, excellent. All right. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And freeze. And I'm going to wave the magic wand. And you are going to come alive. All right. Out of those things, I probably would have been a snake. So if you are a snake, whatever you are, when you come alive, I want you to move. So if you slime, maybe you like blah, 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 or a snake along the ground. Okay. And last one. Buzzy bee, buzz, 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 go around, and buzzy bee freeze. Okay, the letter, this is a really tricky one, is X. So X for X-ray or xylophone, which is a musical instrument. Um, if you can't think of anything for X, which is really tricky, then you can um, be an uh, do an X-ray. You could lie there and pretend that you having an x-ray picture done of you, or you can um, pretend that you're playing the xylophone, or you are the xylophone. Okay, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Paris. Okay, and come alive. All right, excellent grade twos. Now, what we are going to do today is we are going to make a story box. So I've got all my piece of paper here. So we're going to make a cube. So what we're going to do is, I'm sure all of you remember Rory's story cubes, where if you dice them and you've got the, something on the one side, then as you dice, you'll go, once there was, and then you dice a man who uh, liked to climb um, very tall mountains, and then you would dice again, and then there would be a picture of a dog. But one day on his walk, he saw a dog. Okay, so... Remember, stories have always got beginning, middle, and an end. So what you're going to do is a cube has got six sides to it. Okay, so like like a dice. Now, if you're at school, I will give you one of these. If you're not at school, then I will give you... Oh, my computer's deciding to slide down. Where are you going, Mr. Computer? All right. If you are at school, I mean, if you're at home, you can take a... Either Tupperware like this, it's not a perfect cube, but it's got six sides, so that's perfect. Or you could use um, a cereal box, or you could use anything like that. Okay, so then what you are going to do is you are going to, so if you're using something like this, then I would draw on a piece of paper, and then I would just stick it on here. But stick it on with sticky tape or something that it's not going to ruin your mom's precious Tupperware or something like that. Okay, so some suggestions. So I put on the first side, um, because, where's my little piece of paper? Can you see here, we have got six sides to a cube. So this is when we're folding it, this is the way that we fold it. So one goes down, then two, then three, four, five, and six. So you are going to do six little pictures. So I've suggested, you don't have to use it, but I've suggested the first side is a person. Um, the second side is an animal. The third side is an animal or a person. And, or you could have a person holding an animal. You could have a little boy holding a dog or something like that. And then the third, the fourth side is an object like a ball or a tennis racket, or it can be anything, a lollipop. Um, Number six is anything. All right. So um, what you're going to do is you are going to now draw your pictures. So I'm going to give you some suggestions. Okay. Here's a little jellyfish. This is like, I mean, if I give you advice on how to draw it, it looks like a dripping ice cream and um, with the little tentacles coming down. So that's that. Then we have a tortoise. Look how cute he is. And these are really, really simple drawings, everybody. So you can do things like that, or you can make up your own. You don't have to use my suggestions. That's a little monkey. So you would just add an eyes and a little mouth. Okay. And she has a little fishy. See, they've drawn a circle, and then it goes to a little wedge, and then that gets to a little fish. Okay. So what else have we got here? We've got a little bee. 
Um, that's really simple straw and very, very cute. Okay, and a penguin. Look at him. He's so cute. Okay, and also very simple to draw. All right. Now, if you're at home, you can Google anything. Okay, um, absolutely anything um, to do. He has another little cutie, which is a little doggy. Um, and that, I mean, you can just draw like an egg shape and little ears, his little body, and his little legs. Okay, so that's also a little doggy. I don't know why I printed two. And here are some people. So you don't have to, you know, you can either draw stick figures like this or you can draw more detail. It's totally, totally up to you. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, and I've got some more here. Um, just to show you, I've got um, little boys and little girl. And they obviously don't have eyes that you can draw in the eyes, whatever. But it's just to show you, just to get an idea, then some movement. So a man on a bicycle, man playing golf, a uh, man wa it's working and, um, and running. Okay. What else do we have? Oh, little cuties, little, little pictures of um, guys talking, looking sad, reading the newspaper, greeting people. Okay, and what is this? These are simple, simple drawings of how to draw um, bodies and shapes. Okay, so you can make them interesting or just simple, simple, simple. Oh, and that is the same one as I showed you before. Okay, so you've got it. So you're going to take your object, you are going to draw pictures, put them on, then what you are going to do, you are then either you are going to roll this, it's quite hard to roll this, and your pictures might get destroyed. So maybe what you can do is either stick your pictures on here or put numbers and put like number one, number two, number three, and then on your pictures put in, put next to the pictures. So if you had this little picture, maybe if I cut this little one out and I put that number two, and then when you roll this and it gets to number two, then you say, uh, there was a man who was very frustrated, okay, or something. So it adds to the story. Now, remember, grade twos, that your story has to have a beginning. So three things, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay, so if you're thinking about the three little pigs, um, mummy little pig had, she said to her, her three little children, you need to go out and build your own houses. They went out and built their own house. The wolf came. So the beginning part would be mum setting them off and them going to build their house. The middle part would be that the wolf comes to look for them. And the end part would be when the wolf falls down the chimney into the pot and burns his bottom and runs away. Okay, so beginning, middle, and an end. So if there's one day there was a man and he went to the park, no, that is not a beginning, middle, and an end. All right, so don't forget that. All right, grade twos. So I can't wait for you to do that and to send it to me. Take a video. All right. And remember, if you, um, when you're telling your story, I want you to put in lots of expression. So if I say one day the three little pigs went to their mother and their mother said it's very boring and everyone's going to fall asleep so one day there were three little pigs so you use different your voice goes up and down and you make it more and more interesting okay all right so it's called using um power pitch pause um uh, power pitch pause pace and inflection so it's four p's and an i so power is when you go there once was a man who, and you put power behind your voice, okay? So power, pitch, is if you go high or low, okay? Power, pitch, pace, is if you go, the man ran slowly. And then faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Excellent. All right. So that's um, pace, power, pitch, and pause is one day. There was a snowman. And he loved eating pie. 
Okay, so that's a pause when you take a break, okay? And it can also build suspense. So if you can say, the man was running and running and running and running and he got up to the top of the mountain. And then he realized he couldn't climb down. Okay, so that's when when you do pause. And the, and the audience or people would be like, oh, what's happening next? All right, and also if there's... If you ever had, if you're reading a story and there's a comma or a full stop, that's where you would also take a pause. All right, great twos. So I'm so dying to see what you have got. Let us do our poem. Okay, let's do it together. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, get a snake. In a shake, get a snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give me a hug, ladybug. Give me a hug, ladybug. To loo, kangaroo. To loo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Till then, penguin. Adios, hippos. Adios, hippos. Hasta mañana, iguana. Hasta mañana, iguana. Give me a kiss, goldfish. <coughs> Give me a kiss, goldfish. <coughs> Get in line, porcupine. Get in line, porcupine. Out the door, dinosaur. Out the door, dinosaur. Okay, grade twos. Lovely teaching you little cherubs. I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, butterfly.